আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম লুৎফুন্নেসা খানম এস্টেন টিচার জামাল খান কুসুম কুমারী সিটি কর্পোরেশন গার্লস হাই স্কুল আই ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ অল হু আর ওয়াচিং দিস লাইভ ক্লাস রাইট নাও এসপেশালি মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট হু ওয়ার ইন ক্লাস সেভেন ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট আই থিঙ্ক ইউ আর অল আর রেডি ওকে লেটস সি সাম ভিডিও ক্লিপস look at the video there is a there is a um, statement that tap is running the water is running okay so it has a meaning let's see another um, sentence here brush your teeth every day it also has a meaning then let's see another sentence keep the room clean in the sentence there has a special meaning so what is our topic yes we have uh, in our previous class we have learned something from uh, unit 10 today i will discuss unit 11 sentence the sentence part 1 page number 95 open your book and i will discuss something regarding the sentence this is the first part of sentence class okay at the end of the lesson we will be able to identify the structures of the sentence identify the definition of sentence and identify the affirmative and negative sentence dear learners you know we have uh, five types of sentence today i will discuss only affirmative and negative sentence okay here we go at first what is sentence sentence is in simple term a sentence is a set of words that contain special meaning two part i think first sub, a subject and a predicate what sentence is about the topic of the sentence in uh, let's see our first sentence you have seen suppose brush your teeth in the sentence brush your teeth is a brush you have to brush your teeth it has a meaning first part um, uh, brush your teeth is your imperative sentence you should uh, order something in imperative sentence you should order or or um, request something and in the first sentence the tap is running it's also the tap is running water is running here okay so it has a meaning and it has also two part okay let's move our um, content mm, so every sentence has two different part a subject and a predicate what is said about subject suppose mina is a girl in the sentence mina is a subject is a girl is a predicate so every sentence has to part for expressing its proper meaning okay so what is sentence sentence is a set of words that contain a subject that contain a predicate okay in a particular sentence we sometimes we we don't use subject suppose we have to, you have to order something you have to request give me a glass of water please keep it in on your desk something like that so every sentence has subject and predicate and in imperative sentence no need to use subject okay let's see someone is knocking on the door there is a person she is knocking on the door okay so someone is knocking on the door this is a sentence meaningful sentence let's see the word someone is on the door someone is on the door in a sentence there are two parts first part someone second part is on the door 
first one someone on the subject and we say something regarding someone is on the dog so, so this predicate clear so sentence has we have found subject and predicate in the sentence okay what does every sentence need in english if you write a sentence if you say a sentence what does essential part of the sentence let's see what does every sentence need in english yes yes we need verb we need verb every sentence needs a verb it's essential okay then some if you see the structure of the sentence we should follow subject plus verb plus extension then that makes a sentence first we have to use subject then verb then extension then that means i want to buy some new dress i want i subject to want verb to buy some new dress to buy some i want to buy to buy some new dress that is extension something i want which i want that is to buy something so it's a extension or a description you can say something add extension okay what the simplest sentence in english do you know what is simplest small small sentence in english just think what is simplest sentence in english just think small sentence yes that is imperative sentence go fast move run leap in one word but it's a sentence one word run go far, go leap that's also sentence there is no subject but we need a verb clear let's see example here <coughs> there is a person who is sitting on a chair i think he is sleeping or he is relaxed okay so that we can write a sentence relax sit here and relax just we use a word relax that's enough that's enough for expressing something relax it's okay it's a sentence it's a small sentence and it is a imperfect sentence clear let's see one more example one word imperfect sentence let's see it's also those are also sentence but one word clear run suppose um, some of your friends are playing and um, you uh, want to order your um, uh, friend go run run leap from here leap just one word but it's a sentence leap then work those are sentence but one word so you must need verb then see another example we know that we have to use subject plus verb for making sentence there's some mm, there's not imperative sentence it's assertive sentence he runs he she left they are working so those are sentence assertive sentence but they have subject verb subject verb subject and verb one thing i think you have to notice the third subject this is mm, mm, uh, <coughs> present indefinite past indefinite 
present continuous. There are um, there are various types of verb, um, but structure also same. So, if we change verb form, structure will not be changed. Clear? If we change verb form, actually structure will not be changed. Subject verb it is ok. No need to change subject or a structure for changing verb. Ok. So, we can say the verb form does not change in its, its structure. Verb form does not change its structure. Subject and verb it is ok. We change it present indefinite, we change it present uh, past indefinite, but verb form does not change. Clear? Ok, that is sentence extraction. So, we have to uh, we have to use a sentence extraction for expressing for giving more information. Suppose he runs, he runs it needs more information. If we say he runs around the park, it gives more information. So, we can say he runs around the park. He runs every morning. It also gives some information, more information. You can combine those words, no problem. Look at the example. He runs around the park every morning. It is also ok. So, he runs where? Around the park when? Every morning. He runs around the park and every morning when every morning. So, it gives more information regarding he runs. It is ok. Ok, let us see more example in sentence extension. Mina likes. Mina likes mango. What Mina likes? Mina likes mango. It is give an information. It is not Correct, Mina lies. What? What she likes? Then, Mina likes swimming. It is a noun. Uh, Mina likes swimming. Mina likes playing. Mina likes to listen music while she works. It is a long sentence. But, structure also same. Mina likes getting up before sunset. It's a sentence also. Dear learners, look at the sentence. Mina likes getting up. What does it mean? Mina likes get getting up. It is. Um, is there any specific meaning? No. For that, you need more information. What comes next? When? How? Why? There, there are some questions. So, Mina likes getting up. It is not a sentence. Okay? Then, Mina likes getting up before what? So, it is not a sentence. There are more, there need more information. Mina likes getting up before sun, but it does not mean anything. So, you need to give more information, right? Then, if we write Mina likes getting up before sun rises, then it provides a special meaning and we learners or viewers or readers can understand what the writer say. It is ok. So, if we write, if we, if we want to write something, we have to give clear information. Ok. Then, uh, dear learners, now you know that um, structure we have, um, we can 
divide sentence into five part. First one assertive, interrogative, imperative, optative and exclamatory. But today I will discuss only assertive sentence. And next class I will try to discuss rest of the item. I think you are ready. Okay, let's move. Assertive sentence can be divided into two parts, affirmative and negative. Let's see some example of affirmative sentence. I will always remember you. There's a positive information. So, it's an affirmative sentence. Positive it provides a positive agreement. So, it's a affirmative sentence. Then, look at the second sentence here. I will never forget you. In the sentence, never is a negative word. So, it provides negative information, negative statement, negative, um, negative, uh, uh, it provides disagreement. So, it is a negative sentence. Let us see one more example. You, we, you should always speak the truth. It is also an agreement and it is a positive agreement. It provides a positive information. So, it is an affirmative sentence. Then, there are another sentence. You should never tell a lie. Never also again in part, uh, negative information. So, it is a negative statement, disagreement. So, it is a negative sentence. So, when people speak together, they often agree or disagree about things. We can use simple forms, express our agreement and disagreement. When we provide positive information, we say affirmative sentence. When we provide negative information, we say negative sentence. Clear? Dear learners, uh, there is a paragraph about me. There is a paragraph. Let's I will look at the paragraph and you have to find out affirmative and negative sentence. I am not a perfect person like everyone. I have some positive sides and some negative sides of my character. I am active, optimistic and tolerant person but also shy, self-critical and quiet. My first positive thing is to be active. I like motivation. I seek new opportunities. When it comes, I will easily take full advantage of it. I, I look for excitement and action in my life. And though I don't to want miss any part of it. I try to enjoy life as much as I can and live every day like it's my last. I am also a domestic person. When I am looking the future, I don't really waste time planning for it. What's more important is what's going on right now. I am uh, my perspective on on life is very optimistic. I cherish life and I have a passion for of it. Passion for it. I am never looking at the other side of life. This paragraph about me. In the paragraph, we see some positive sentence and some negative sentence. Now, let's try to find out some positive sentence and negative affirmative and negative sentence. Let's see. I am not a perfect person. I am not a perfect person. This is a negative sentence. And then there are another negative sentence. Yes, I don't want to miss any part of life. Don't want. This is a negative sentence. We use am not, we use don't. 
let's see i don't really waste time planning for it there's another negative sentence i am never looking at the old side of life there's also negative sentence i am never looking at the old side of life old side mane ki bujho the kharap side life er sheta diye ami khub ekta kokhono sheta ni khuje berai na kokhono dekhi na je negative side ta ki tahole in my paragraph there are four negative sentences also okay so that's all about of sentence in my last in my next class i will discuss how to change affirmative and negative and rest of the part of the sentence but you have to do something regarding affirmative and negative sentence dear learners please please write 20 affirmative and negative sentence from your english for to the textbook then you can understand what are the positive sentence what are the negative sentence at first you have to identify then you can change it clear please write 20 affirmative and negative sentence if you don't find out those sentence you can't understand affirmative and negative sentence format you have to identify it's, it's very important not for you it's very important for 6 to 12 class students also so you have to know what are the affirmative sentence what are the negative sentence so that's all about my lesson thank you so much for joining this class and your patience also stay safe stay healthy thank you so much see you next class inshallah thank you